Hey all you Mercedes Sprinter B-Class lovers. I have some important information coming up on the Sprinter changes coming up for the 2023 model year. So stay tuned to Wheels and Wheels. Mercedes-Benz has announced that the Sprinter line for 2023 will be transitioning to four cylinder engines for both diesel and gasoline engines. The new engines will be rated at 168 horsepower and 208 horsepower across the line. The new OM654 engines will have smoother acceleration and more torque across the line, which is a benefit for uh, Sprinter owners. The engine is a mix of aluminum block and steel pistons. So what this does is give you a smoother acceleration and better performance across the line. In the diesel engines, there will be a near engine gas treatment available. So this uh, allows for a smoother transition of the DEF into the engine at a cooler temperature and you have less loss of your DEF and hopefully it will be more efficient in the mixture process. Also as part of the changes to the Sprinter line, Mercedes will be transitioning to a 9G Tronic transmission across the lines. So what this does is gives you a smoother acceleration, more torque, as well as a smoother operation of your van. The Sprinter will become an all-wheel drive version instead of the previous 4x4 version. So what this is is the Mercedes uh, formatic type transmission that's available in its cars. So that's being transitioned over to the, the Sprinter line. Uh, what this gonna, is going to give you is a much smoother operation of the vehicle. It should be more efficient. There's going to be, in combination with a 9G Tronic transmission, it's going to be smoother. Um, you're not going to have to engage the transmission at any time. It's always a all-wheel drive system. And it's distributed across 50-50 uh, between both axles. Uh, previously, in the 4x4 model, it was 65% uh, in the rear and 35% in the front. So hopefully this is going to give you a smoother car and the engagement, of the, the engagement of your transmission is going to be a lot smoother. The Sprinter is going to remain dimensionally the same uh, height and your angles are all going to be the same so you don't have to worry about changes in that matter. So um, that's a plus. I mean maybe some of you might not be happy with this change but I think overall most people are going to like this new transition to an all-wheel drive system. With Mercedes success on the Sprinter van, uh, they decided back in 2015 to expand its operations in uh, South Carolina in its North Charleston location. And they've expanded their plant as well as created a new staging area where Sprinters are then processed to be tested and delivered uh, right after uh, manufacture to its customers. As well as there's some other information coming out with a new e-Sprinter line which is going to be produced also in South Carolina. So that's some exciting news. And Mercedes is claiming that it's going to have an all electric platform for 2025 available across the Sprinter line. It's transitioning from gasoline and diesel to electric. It'll be very exciting to see what happens with this change with Mercedes Benz. I hope you liked this video and I hope you stay tuned to Wheels and Wheels. I'm Aldo, your host. Have a great day and talk to you soon.